In this video, I'm going to be talking about my experience with quitting alcohol the last two years. So if you're considering starting a New Year's resolution to drink less or even quit drinking completely, then this video should give you some really good insights, tips, and advice uh, from my own experience. Okay, so let's dive right into it. So I've told my story with alcohol before, but for those of you just getting into my content, I'll explain kind of why I stopped uh, drinking in the first place. All right, so I never got like a DWI or had to go to AA or anything specific like that. But a few years back, I found myself in kind of like a quarter life crisis. So I, I wasn't proud of the person that I was becoming. And I had hit kind of an, an all time mental health rock bottom. So the drinking habits I developed in college of binge drinking every single weekend had carried on into my mid twenties and the effects were starting to catch up to me. All right. I, I wasn't happy with my career trajectory, uh, the health of my relationship with my girlfriend or the development as a man in general. So I started to make some changes, right? I, I started therapy. I quit my job at the gym I was working at. I moved to a different city. I just started making a lot of changes in my life. And these changes led to a lot of growth, but I was still drinking like one to two times a week in excess um, every single week. So I, I didn't recognize it at the time, but I was still escaping my reality. I think we do this a lot, whether it's with alcohol, drugs, porn, or even food. Like it's easy to use vices to numb your emotions and ignore the root problems that are going on. And what I, what I truly, what truly forced me to stop drinking was that I got fired from my office job at the time. You know, once I left, left the gym I was working at, I started working an office job. Um, but I got fired from that because it just wasn't my passion. And then I decided to go all in on my fitness business. And what I realize now is that I was stifling my potential to chase my true dreams of like having my own online fitness business by using alcohol to escape my own reality at the time. But once I started chasing those, you know, my true passion and run my own online fitness business, I realized that in order to operate at the level that I needed to succeed, I couldn't have those vices holding me back, right? So I decided to, to, to quit completely. And I've only had one glass of wine in the last two years. So technically I haven't completely quit, right? I had one glass of wine in the last two years on my 30th birthday with my girlfriend. And funny enough, it, it gave me a headache <laughs> having that one glass of wine. And I say funny enough because it had gotten to the point where I could have 15 drinks in a night and, and still function. So like it, I had built up such a tolerance and now I'm like an extreme lightweight, apparently, you know, with one glass of wine, I got a headache, but um, so that's my story and kind of, you know, why I decided to quit. Um, but the point of this video is to give you some insight on some things that I've learned and hopefully it helps influence some of your decisions in 2025. Okay. So I'm going to share some of the pros of quitting, keep it hundred percent real with you guys from my experience. Okay. So let's, let's get right into it. So one of the biggest pros that I noticed in the last two years is how much my sleep has improved. All right. There are two big reasons for this. Number one, my bedtime on the weekends is basically the same on weekdays, right? I feel like kind of an old man right now, but I think old people have it right. <laughs> so it's much easier for my biological clock to stay in rhythm. All right, so that's number one. Number two, my quality of sleep has definitely like not been impacted by alcohol. And so my quality of sleep has been improved dramatically. Okay, you may think like I fall asleep just fine after I drink, right? And that may be true, but studies show that your quality of sleep is trash even after just a couple of drinks. Okay, so even if you're getting to sleep um, with, with ease, your quality of sleep is drastically impacted. Okay, and studies show that even with excess drinking, like your sleep can be impacted in up to six plus days after that. Okay, so the way I was doing it, right? Cause I wasn't like having drinks every night, but when I did drink, I would drink a lot. Right. So if you're, if you're like me and you're doing it that way, like your sleep can be impacted for six plus days after that excess drinking. 
Okay. So it can really have lasting effects. And, you know, now I'm one of the best sleepers that I honestly know. I take pride in that, right? I'm averaging, you know, eight plus hours most nights. And this is saying a lot because I, I honestly, the rest of my life have probably averaged six hours or less, you know, and now I'm, I'm, I'm an eight plus a night type of guy. Okay. So that, that has had a lot of lasting impacts in a lot of different areas because good sleep changes a lot of things. Okay. Mental, physically, lots of benefits of getting more sleep. All right. So another huge pro that I've noticed is my emotional intelligence has drastically improved. All right. Like I said before, after reflecting on it, I realized now that I was using alcohol to escape my emotions and drown out pain. Okay. Now, now after the last two years of sitting with uncomfortable feelings and dealing with them in healthy ways, I've learned so much more about myself and I've learned how to cope with my own uncomfortable emotions. My tip for you on this one is to be more mindful on how you feel after you give into whatever vices that you're struggling with. Okay. So a lot of times we use vices to feel better in the moment, but we usually feel worse than even before um, the temporary good feeling like wears off right? So, so you feel a little bit better for a few moments, but then I want you to pay attention to how you feel afterwards. Cause a lot of times when that temporary feeling wears off, you feel worse than before. All right. So, um, so, so just start paying attention to that. But another pro I've noticed is that I'm extremely productive on the weekends. In fact, I'm making this video on the weekend, right? Like I said, I have a business to run and clients that look up to me to reach their fitness goals. And this is something that I do not take lightly, right? And it takes a lot of my focus during the week. So on the weekends, I end up doing a lot of my creative work like this, creating content, um, working on the business rather than in the business, right? So in the past, I'd, I'd drink on Friday and or Saturday, be hungover Saturday and Sunday, get nothing done. And I'd usually feel like garbage, honestly, on Monday even. So it's just like, you know, three days out of your week that are just shot. But now I'm, I'm able to wake up early on weekends, feel re refreshed, and get a lot of things done, usually before my girlfriend even wakes up, right? And like before we even have stuff that we're doing for the weekends for fun. So, so that's huge. Another unexpected realization that I made through quitting drinking is that most people do things just because it's the social norm, right? Many people drink because it's just what's socially accepted and that's like what people are supposed to do, right? Most people don't like their job because they don't think they have a choice, right? Most people watch negative things on the news, doom scroll on social media and fill their mind with garbage entertainment instead of educating themselves on personal development because they've given up on themselves. That's the honest truth. Like most people are anxious and worried about their future because deep down, they know that they're not doing what they need to do in the present to set themselves up for the future. So the future makes them anxious. So what, cre what quitting drinking and taking control of my life has helped me realize is that you can be in control and you can escape what society expects of you. So I'm not going to you know, go into every single pro in this video because I've already made a couple of videos talking about some of the other things that quitting alcohol has helped improve in my life. You know, I made a couple of videos in the past. So I'll put the last video I made in the comments here if you want to go check that one out. But I can say without a shadow of a doubt that stopping drinking these last two years has probably been one of the most impactful decisions I've made in the last two years. And I don't regret it at all. So I hope this video helps you make a decision of what you want to do in 2025, whether it's cutting out alcohol completely, cutting back on alcohol, or just being more mindful about your relationship with certain vices. And even if this video just helps one person just start thinking a little bit differently about alcohol, then it was worth making it for me. So if you like this video, then please like the damn video and subscribe to help grow the channel and get more personal development content like this. And I'd love to make more videos that are impactful like this for the people that, that it's meant for in 2025. 
and share my experiences with others. So please help grow the channel, guys. But other than that, elevate every damn day. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Elevate. Only obligation is to tell it straight.